Hi, I'm Chris from The Tent Room. Thanks for tuning in to another one of our YouTube episodes. Uh, today we're lucky enough to be out at Outwell headquarters in Denmark looking at the 2017 product launch. So we've taken the opportunity to get a sneak preview at some of the new tents and some of the new features. So we're going to talk you through it. So behind me is the Vermont 7 SA, which was probably one of the best selling tents last year. It's part of their Smart Air polyester um, collection. It basically boasts all the bells and whistles. It has all the top features. And there's been some real great additions this year for the 2017 range. Okay, so with such a massive tent, this system of the Smart Air works so well. So basically, you've obviously got one input, a uh, little air input there. You can either plug a, a self-inflating pump up and just plug it into your car and whoosh up it goes, or you can pump it up with the, with the pump that comes with it. Um, but one of the things that obviously has been sort of a little... I don't know, maybe negative about these massive tents is, is the weight and the size of them. With traditional old sort of pole and canvas tents, you can obviously split the weight. So you've got poles and a canvas that you're basically taking side by side. So you're sort of splitting the weight. With these bigger air tents, obviously it's not possible because all the tubes are combined. They're all integral to the actual design of the tent. So what Outwell have cleverly done this year is made two sections for it. So this sort of outer section here uh, is, is all zipped on like with their awning, so still fully weather tight. So you've got two, two flaps in there that then covers the whole beam. So you're not gonna get any rain through that system, but it basically just totally weather seals it. And it also allows two bags to be taken. So instead of this now being a 50 kilo all in one tent, this now comes as a 35 kilo and a 15 kilo, which makes it much more reasonable. Now, a lot of the customers that we'd have coming in would be sort of you know, getting a 50 kilo tent and that is a big old unit of a tent. So carrying that around obviously is not that easy so taking that and splitting it in two and allowing you to sort of yeah split it in two makes it a lot more practical obviously that does mean you've got an extra air input so if this front sort of almost wet room the awning section of the front has got an extra inlet and then you've got the the main part of the tent with the air in there uh, as well but that, that's one of the key features i think for 2017 that's going to make this tent so much more accessible to a lot, lot more people Okay, so the actual layout of the tent is something, again, that we've seen a massive rise in popularity where you've got this sort of, this wet room at the front, so this big sort of front awning that you can close off. Uh, and with this detachable bathtub ground sheet that actually comes with it as well. Uh, and then it, moving into the tent itself, you're going into this fully integral sealed ground sheet area that, totally, you know, totally dry in here. Um, and then the bedrooms at the back where you've got a two, three and a two. With all the outwall tents as well, you've got this zip system here, so you can unzip this one side and roll it away, so you've got a little bit of extra space, maybe a little bit of wardrobe space in there as well. It makes it real practical living. You'll see as well when we were talking outside about the smart air system, you see all the beams in the ceiling that can interconnect all of the all of the beams. So you've got this single inflation point that makes the tent go up really, really quick, and that's that's basically how it does it. And you've got all these cutoff valves as well. Okay, so continuing on the layout theme of this tent, you've also noticed behind me we've got a real neat little wardrobe hung up, sort of taking up around about sort of maybe a quarter of the, the sort of length, uh, the width of the tent. There's a nice little running bar as well that you can hang all your clothes on, you can stick your wardrobe in there, just makes it a nice little zip away area to make the tent a little bit tidier. And then next to that, you've got the rain safe entrance, door that will roll up on the side with a, an alloy, alloy, alloy pole running through it as well. So that just, again, gives you some options to sort of, obviously when you're coming in and if it's raining, you don't want to be using the big doors and letting rain into the tent. Use that one, put all your shoes out there, any dirty wear. Uh, and then you can also, if you needed to, we've got a little porta potty demonstration in there. So you can take all the curtains down and use it as a bit of a privacy area if you want to use that sort of for the kids' loo or something like that, which is pretty practical, really. And then as we're filming just through the door, uh, you'll see that there is actually a door entrance on both sides of this tent. So you've got either either side with a lot of mesh in it as well. So if you need to open up for the day, you know, if it's a super hot day, you can just allow a bit more airflow through the tent. The door on this side as well, running through from the wet room into the sort of the drier section. This is a full barn door as well. So you can just totally open this up, which again has been one of the most popular designs uh, you know you're just allowing the tent to be so much more spacious look a lot bigger um, and make it just yeah feel feel that much more airy when you when you're sort of stuck inside if it's a rainy day um, yeah it just makes it makes it a lot more airy okay so this year well, has split their bedrooms into three different ranges you've got the royal which is at the top 
the ambassador and then the premier and what that gives you is different sort of sizes within the bedrooms and different styles the way they're pulled out in through the tent so these ones at the top of the top of the range are basically what they're called the royal so what you're getting in those is you've got this red rim that runs all the way around the bottom to signify that it is royal uh, and you've got this extra length in the bedrooms now one thing that a lot of people finding now intense they want that extra room they've got this big air bed that sort of fills the whole side of the room uh, sort of bulges out in the side of the tent so they, they need that little bit of extra room so this is 2.5 meters in length so you see there with this bigger air bed in here that how much more room you've got how much more space if you want to put little bits down at the end maybe a little bedside table real go for the glamping theme that posh sort of camping at this level this is what people are wanting and this is what you're getting so a couple of extra features in the bedrooms, you've got this thermoreflective liner, so you can see the actual difference in colour in the bedroom section. So what that's doing is it's obviously reflecting back those sort of hot sun rays and not getting the bedrooms quite so warm uh, on those hotter days. And you've also got what they call the night sky liner, which is on the inside there where they've darkened up the top of the, the room. So again, not letting quite so much light in uh, for maybe a little bit more of a, a, a nicer night's sleep. They've also added these windows around the side of the, the bedrooms so that if you if you do want to, you can undo the little curtains, which are just just on the inside here. Uh, so you can see how you can fold that up and toggle toggle those up so that when you are sort of in bed and you want to look out in the morning, you can just undo that and have a have a look out. And then that's that runs through the same at the back as well. So you've got tent windows all the way around the back. Just some nice little features that give you a little bit of better view in the morning. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the technical features of the tent. So the actual fabric itself comes in an Oxford polyester, 150 denier, which, okay, there are a lot of tents out there in 150 denier, but this one actually with the Oxford weave makes it a lot stronger and a lot, lot tougher. It's got a 6,000 millimeter hydrostatic head, which again, in the waterproofing standards is way up there. The actual ground sheet comes in at a 10,000 as well. So nothing's gonna be coming up through the, through the ground sheet. You'll also notice the structure of the tent as well. You'll see that they've got these pre-bent air tubes. So that gives you a general much bigger feeling when you're inside the tent. When you're standing up sort of sideways against it with this pre-bent, it means you get a lot more head height, a lot more standing room. So it just makes it feel a lot more spacious in there. And you'll notice also that the Gothic style of the tube as well. And that gives us uh, the actual tent a lot more stability, making it just, just generally stronger in the wind. See all the guy lines running through it as well, the easy pitch guy lines coming out at those angles make it super easy to pitch. Okay, so thanks for watching another one of our YouTube product reviews. Today's been a quick overview of the Vermont 7SA. If you want any more product specs or any sort of particular features, then please go onto our website. You can find detailed floor plans, you can find all the material detail in more detail. Also, tune into our YouTube channel and you find lots of other reviews on lots of other tents. But thanks guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the review.